Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated and welcome back. Today I'm back with another tag video. You guys, nobody tagged me, okay? Let's just get that out there, nobody tagged me. She tags herself. I see a video that I like, it's a tag video, I tag myself. I believe this tag was started by Annie S. I believe that's what I heard out on the YouTube streets. <laughs> anyway, so I will link her video down below, but this is my luxury fragrance name. My luxury YouTube fragrance name, which is my luxury fragrance name, I don't know. I did a video a couple of weeks back, and it was my luxury fragrance, no, it was my luxury YouTube name, right? Which is Sheree, C-H-E-R-A-Y-E. -E. So I incorporated a little bit of fragrance in that, and at that same time I was thinking I should probably do one all around fragrance. However, then I started watching YouTube, as I do all the time, and somebody had already said, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make it a tag video. So shout out to you, Annie S. We were on the same page. Okay, so I am going to spell my luxury fragrance name for you using all fragrances. The first letter in my name is C. Let's take 2.5 seconds. What do you think that's going to be? While you're pondering and thinking upon that, allow me to tell you what I do on this channel. Here on this channel, I do, you guys, I don't know what's wrong with me today, okay? You already know. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, and oh, hold up, wait for it. I've recently incorporated vlogs. If you've been watching the vlogs, if you've been enjoying the vlogs, go ahead and hit the like button. Leave me a comment below. I will continue to do my best to try and vlog. I've been having so much fun doing it. But anyways, so here on this channel, that's what I cover. I am a huge lover of fragrance. So of course I talk about fragrance all the time and you guys seem to really like it too. So why disturb the peace? Anyways, are you ready? Let's go. Coming in for C is Coco Parfum. It's amazing. It is clove, it is floral, it is warm, it is leather, it is sandalwood, it is tonka beam, it is sexy, it is good, good. Hello, let me just solidify it. It is Chanel. Need I say any more? You guys, this is really good. This is where my C is coming from. Fall is approaching, okay? And I'm gonna be a little bit late with my fall, you know, top 10 for falls and all the fall fragrances because I do live here in California, Los Angeles, SoCal, and it's not gonna get low temperatures until mid-October, God willing. That's what I remember it to be. So those videos will be coming, you guys, but we are nowhere near approaching fall, okay? Other than the calendar. As far as the degrees go outside, it's still 110 last time that I checked. I'm just saying. Anyway, so this is Coco Parfum. Parfum, and it is a beautiful fall, anytime you want, wear it, spray it type of fragrance. And she absolutely loves it. The longevity is there, the sillage is there. I won't say it's beast projection, but you will definitely get attention, you will definitely stand out. Somebody is definitely probably gonna ask you, good or bad, I'm just saying, what are you wearing? This is a great fragrance. It's Chanel. I'm very excited to have this into my collection. It was recently added. I would say I get about an eight to nine hour wear out of this. I will also emphasize that I do over spray, so that really helps the longevity of this fragrance. And I also spray my clothes unless I'm wearing cream or white and I'm afraid that it might stain. You know me. I'll spray it in my hair if it doesn't come with a hairspray. That is Coco by Chanel. I move on. The next letter in my name is H. And I had to think, oh my gosh, do I have any fragrances that start with H? Then I thought about this one, Twilly de Hermes. Hermes. You know I was listening to a song the other day and they call it Jaime's. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hermes, Jaime's, Hermes. What do you call it? But this here is Twilly de Hermes and this is a beautiful, luxurious, sensual, cozy, ginger, vibrant type of fragrance. And she, her, her, Sheree, absolutely loves it you guys i feel that this could be worn all year round but in all honesty i really feel that it performs and just exudes itself in the best way in the fall and winter although you know what i always say spray what makes you happy and spray what you want when you want but this here is a beautiful beautiful fragrance allow me to give you a few of the notes as i spray it oh i don't want this to be my scent of the day but it's so good Oh, yes, it has two bros, ginger, sandalwood. It is an oriental spicy. She loves all oriental fragrances. It is a warm fragrance. I would happen to agree with that. It could be worn spring, summer, winter, fall. Spray what makes you happy. As I mentioned, it's very youthful. It's very... 
wouldn't say, let me see, not youthful, like candy bopper, kind of youthful. I'm just saying that it's modern. You know what I mean? It's not very mature. It's not dated. It's not, I hate to age defying fragrance, but it's not old. You know what I mean? You can wear this to work. You could wear this to church. You could wear this to brunch. You could wear this among friends. Oh, would you wear this on a date? If it was like that third or fourth date and I wasn't sure, but it could be that kind of date, I would wear this. But going in for hard hitting sexy beast mode, Mason Francis Kirk John, Tom Ford, that kind of date, no. It's not sexy like that, but it really is good. I'm happy to have this in my collection. I recently added it. It is a white floral, like I said, citrus, woody, ginger, sandalwood, spicy, warm. It's good, good. No, it's good. I move on. The next letter is E. The last time I did the video of the luxury um, name tag and I came across the letter E, you guys were like, why didn't you use Escada? And you're so right. So this time, hold on girl, guy, friend, wait for it. It is Escada. You guys, look how much of this I have used. I have been getting my entire life with this fragrance this summer. This is so good and it's affordable. Not only is it affordable, it is cheerful. This is a tropical vacation in a bottle and I keep saying it and I will, I keep saying it and I will continue to say it. This is how you go on vacation when there is no vacation to go on, okay? This is so good. Oh my God, just smelling it right now, you guys. It made me so, I'm putting it on. I can't, I, I didn't want this to be my sin of the day. You were not supposed to be the sin of the day. Oh God, but you're so good. It just makes me happy. It's like spraying on fruit punch. Not really, but really like a luxurious, quality, beautiful type of fruit punch. Oh my gosh, I have to give this fragrance something when 2020 is over, God willing, because it really got me through like July, August, a few of the months, it really got me through and I am here for it. Let me give you a few of the notes, you guys, because you know I can get carried away. As I always state, this came out in 2019. This is a limited edition, I believe. This smells like a fruity cocktail on vacation in the Bahamas. Something like that, you know what I mean? That's the vibe it gives me. It has watermelon, orange, it has pineapple, it has flower, tiara flower in it, it has jasmine, tuberose, sandalwood, musk. I mean, what else is there to say about this fragrance? I do overspray it, you guys, but seriously, it does give a good, moderate longevity. You know, it's not gonna be beast mode, but it definitely gives a great, moderate projection and siage, I would say anywhere from about six to seven hours, and I overspray it, but I will say this, it does fill the room, and it does leave a scent bubble, because if I overspray this in my dressing room and then I go back in there maybe three or four hours later I can still smell this so it doesn't disappear for the price point for the way that it smells it's definitely worth the whip and that is Escada Miami Blossom I move on R we get to the R I've spoken to you guys several times about this fragrance this is the R my collection and that is none other than this one here this is Roja Dove Elixir and this is the essence version and this is so good and so beautiful and so sweet and every time you spray this you can be transported into a feminine goddess darling yes that's what Roger himself said okay I'm just saying let me give you a few of the notes in this this is beautiful this could be worn anywhere anytime any place morning noon dinner night date night girls brunch you name it you can wear it this fragrance is the fragrance to have in your collection okay I'm just saying let me give you a few of the notes it has a little bit of everything it has bergamot lily of the valley rose de mai raspberry peach cinnamon it also has cedarwood vanilla and ambergris this is good it's high quality high concentration i love the raspberry fruity note i love that this is an oriental fragrance but at the same time it's not a heavy in your face oriental normally oriental i think heavy i think oud i think in your face i think spices and peppers and Gourmand and just oh okay oriental can go really there for me sometime but anyhow this is an oriental fragrance but it's not going to deliver all that but it's going to be just as impactful hit the like button if you were able to follow that that's what this fragrance is going to give you the projection is there in the first two hours and then gonna be honest with you it's kind of a skin scent it kind of turns into a skin scent it sits close to the body if you get in close counters with someone, they'll be able to smell you. But this isn't something that you're gonna spray on, walk in the room a few hours later, and everybody's gonna be like, oh my God, what are you wearing? Not on me. 
I didn't get that. You may get it. Everybody's body chemistry is different. I did not get that. My body was just like, oh, this is really nice. It sat really close to the skin. When my guy came in close, he was like, oh, this is nice. But you know, from across the room, this isn't gonna give you that. I move on. The next letter in my name would happen to be A. And I was going to think of Chanel Sensual Allure because that's what I thought of the last time. But then I said I've already spoken about that. So why don't I grab something that's gonna take us more into the fall, winter of the seasons. You know what I mean? I had to think about that for a second. Anyways, you guys, that is Angelique Noir. Oh my gosh. If you have not had a chance to smell Guerlain, 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 Guerlain fragrances, please get a whiff of them. The double vanilla, this one here, which is Angelique Noir. It is amazing. It smells so good. I cannot wait to douse myself in this around mid fall early winter with some high boots on a nice blazer oh my gosh no 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 no. this is more of a cashmere sweater type of fragrance cashmere sweater nice high suede boots oh my gosh and a nice bag or a clutch i can see it do you see it if you visualized it just hit the like button anyways you guys this one is really good this is musky this is vanilla it's powdery it's balsamic it's sweet it has a little bit of bergamot it has bitter almond in it it has vanilla notes it is has a little bit of a green note in it at the tail tail way in back of it as well but it's really good it's not a green oh my gosh you're disturbing the peace kind of note but it's a green welcoming kind of note in the baseline of this and it's really really good this was on my wish list for quite some time and I had like just a little decant of it and I could not get away from it and I'm like that's it the sale is happening buy it and I did I got 25% off and I absolutely love it and that is Angelique Noir I move on the next letter would be Y and I went with a favorite I know okay let me get it out of the way a basic everybody has it you're not gonna stand out you're gonna smell like everybody else I always tell you if I'm wearing anything, from a handbag, to a pair of shoes, to a hairstyle, to lashes, to a fragrance, and everybody in the whole world has it, it's still gonna be different on me. Why? You know what I'm different, why? <laughs> I have to stop listening to the baby. Anyways, you know why I'm different? Why? Anyways, you guys, because I am me. Hello? There can be 10,000 million, 50, 100, 11 people, as Beyonce would say. But there's only one charade, so no matter how many people rock this fragrance, I might be a little biased. Nobody's gonna rock it like me, and that is, go ahead, say it. This is YSL Black Opium. Oh my gosh. I, I don't believe that this is just appropriate for fall and winter. I believe you can wear any fragrance whenever time you want. But I do like this in the fall and winter. It's coffee, it's sexy, it's sweet, it's a gourmand, it's, oh, it just does it for me. It's intoxicating, it's date night. It's like, girl, guy, where are we going? <laughs> I don't know. I have, I'm having way too much fun today. Anyways, you guys, but that is this one here. The letter of the not the, uh, the letter of my name is Y, and that's where I get this one here. Y S L Black Opium. So I'm kind of playing a word game here, playing a word up on this. Like I said, coffee, white flower, vanilla. I have down written on my note card for this. This right here in a bottle is just good, good. It just is. I know everybody has it. Do not let that detour you from buying it or saying, oh, I don't want it. Everybody has it. Nobody's gonna rock it and have it like you. There's only one you, okay? Only you have your body chemistry. So don't deny yourself a great fragrance. Oh, add it in your collection. Guy, girl, boy, child, human. It's good, good. I move on. <laughs> okay, all right, and this brings us to our final E, and I have it in this little decant here, which is Essential Molecules. I told you guys I received this from Royalty Sense and my monthly subscription service, and this is Essential Molecules, and it's good. It's a unisex fragrance. Oh my gosh, I said that I wanna get one though. I hear so much more about one than I do over two. So I definitely wanna try one. In the opening, it's very light, it's very zesty. It seems like it's not there, but it really is there. It's really pretty, it has jasmine, 
elderflower it has musk it has oris or i no oris and not iris oris it has in it it's good and it's a great fragrance and it completed my name with the e so that is it you guys i would love to see your tag and your take on this video if you are a creator of youtube or of instagram please tag me if you happen to do this video i am tagging you you in the back you in the front all of you on the sidelines i'm tagging you okay so just tag me and let me know you did it i cannot wait to see what you chose for your luxury name or for your youtube name or for your instagram name you guys let's just have a bit of fun anyways that is it if you have enjoyed today's video you know what to do please give it a thumbs up if you're saying to yourself oh let me check and see if I'm subscribed. No, I'm not. Go ahead. If you've enjoyed the vibe and the content, go ahead and consider hitting the Oh my God, why can't I talk today? If you have enjoyed today's video and you like the content, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video. Until next time, I can't talk today. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, stay fabulous, but more importantly, wear your mask and stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye.